Today I will show you how to make this crazy trippy morphing effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and as you know today we'll be making the trippy morphing effect which is actually version 2 of the effect that I had previously made on the editing visuals channel which is now just run by Pelly. You guys really like the first one so I just have to make a version 2 but anyways let's begin. Alright guys so here I have a clip from Xavier so based in music video I forgot what the name of it is and what we can do is go to one of the effects press ctrl D uh, just to duplicate the layer so we could have two layers and here we can start out some effects. So so the first effect I like to add is actually a plugin called Displacer Pro. Now in the version 1 of this tutorial which I did on editing visuals, I didn't use a plugin but here I'm going to be using a free plugin which is the Displacer Pro. Now I'd really recommend to just get it because it's free. And here I'm just going to make very random settings. So like for example like I can make the translate Y to like 599 and it's gonna give like this effect. And this is essentially what I just like to do with this. Like you know like if you turn it off, this is how it will look like if you turn off the other layer. Now this looks crazy. I'm just gonna keep it back up. Here what I also like to do is mess around here with the channel so I like to make the channel to hue here and we basically get like almost like a day in a mosh effect with this slicer pro which is very cool and another thing I like to do is like mess around with the scale so like for example I like to set it to like minus 22 for example and now we will have like this crazy I don't even know how to call it like a data mosh trippy morphing effect yeah I don't even know and yeah you can mess around with like the, the rotate like if you don't like this rotation so I'm actually gonna set to like 105 yeah that looks pretty cool and now we can add some more effects so now we can add like an optional effect which is s distort uh, chroma which is from a sapphire plugin uh, so if you don't have it you don't need to add this uh, here I like to make the blur lens to 230 so like we just see barely of that like you know red and other colors and I like to go to the amount and I like to make like very low to minus 0.04 but that's not it. I like to go to the amount, hold alt and press on stopwatch. And here I like to type wiggle parentheses 40, which will be like a frequency, I guess. And then comma 0.2, which will be the intensity of how much it will like flicker around. And I'll let like press out of there. All right. And now I can add S flicker. Uh, here I like to make the amplitude to like 0.39. I just want to make it flicker a bit more. Again, very much not a needed effect. And now we can add deep glow. Now I really like to have this effect here. Uh, and I don't basically change anything. I like to have the input also at 0, 0. And the last effect I like to add here is noise. This does not need a plugins. And I like to turn off the noise type. And here I like to go to the amount noise and make like 26. And here we have a crazy effect right now. Like just look at that. And now if we go right here and turn this off. The effect will look like this and you can have it like two versions like you can have it like this or you can go to like the channel and change it to luminance and then you will have like this so yeah, like two versions uh completely depends on you but yeah, i'm gonna go back to the channel and make it a hue and turn this back on and what i like to do with like these effects I like to press t to have the opacity and I like to check check it like right here like in this position and we can go to like right here and make it to maybe like zero and at the start make it to 100 actually let, let me put it right here select all of them press f9 uh, go to the graph editor and here i like to make the graph like something like this so the effect will look like this yeah that is now that is a very cool effect in my opinion and now for the second version of this effect uh we can first of course uh, go to the effects and presets and save it so like you can press ctrl a go to animation save your animation preset and here and here you can call it like trippy morph Thing, effect i'll call it v2 press save and whenever we want to add the effect you'll just be able to go to effects and presets and just add it now let's go to this clip again but here let's go to and type gp morphing effect v2 add it and now what i like to do is i like to go to the channel and change it to luminance and the translate x i'll just change it to zero and now we have this effect like this is the actual v2 like you can also save this as a preset that just looks insane and yeah one of the craziest effects out there and yeah i'm not gonna show you more examples here so so here I have another clip from the same music video. I like to just press Ctrl D on it. And here we can also add the trippy morphing effect V2. But I'll go to the start and I'll make the translate X be different, like to 4. Translate Y to 106 and the rotation to 0. And I'll keyframe the scale uh, scale keyframe and I'll go a bit further like to the ending and I'll here I'll make it like 110. And this will look like a little bit of a data mosh effect or yeah, I don't know what to like call it. Yeah, it will look like this, like a, I don't know, like a shadow disappearing. That is what you will get actually insane effect. And on the 
last example, I have already actually pre-made it. But here I just basically did almost the same as here. Instead here I just changed the translate Y to minus 170. And I keyframe the rotation and the scale at the start. So I press U and you will see all of my keyframes. Yeah, this is how the clip looked before. Yeah, this is just a clip of Xavier so based again. And yeah, I'm just going to put it back on. And basically here, uh, yeah, we just keyframe these two. And we go to the ending of the full clip. And here I make it to the rotation to zero and the scale to 110 just as I did there. Yeah, this has to be one of my favorite effects in After Effects that you can just make. And yeah, I cut it out actually here because then it will look like this. Yeah, I just like to cut it out. I also like to let you know that I have a povikos.com website where I sell video editing assets, which helped me make my editing game way faster and it helps a lot of other creators to edit faster as well. So if you're looking for some crazy editing packs for your edits or music videos, then I would really recommend to check it out. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, and again, please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.